Thank you, Les Cancola. <clears throat> First of all, can I thank Sinn Féin for this motion, and I especially want to thank my colleague Michael Fitzmaurice for opening this can of worms at the Agriculture Committee meeting before Christmas, where he questioned reps from culture. Now, I've read and reread the transcript of that committee meeting, and it is completely at odds with much of what is being said by government here this evening and in recent days. The speed of the backtracking on what culture reps said before Christmas is breathtaking, but it is most welcome because I was appalled by the culture proposals, which I described at the time as a land grab. Right now, this whole thing is about as clear as mud. Mr. Curley, CEO of Culture, told us at that committee meeting, sorry, Ms. Hurley, and I quote, she said, when we launched our vision, we were very clear on the ambition of 100,000 hectares. We were also very clear in our engagements that there is substantial capital required in order to achieve the 100,000 hectares. It will be up to 2 billion in terms of cost between now and 2050. In our engagements, we have been clear that we will need to access capital to do this. This will require two forms of funds. The first fund has already been named the Nature Trust, and the second fund is more focused on what we call traditional long-term investors, Gresham House. She tells us later on, we have said we would enable the creation of 100,000 hectares of new forests. The way we will do that, as we have outlined, is through the traditional investor and impact investor. 100,000 hectares, two funds, no farmers. Yet now we're told it's just 12,000 hectares that will be managed by the fund. 8,500 existing forestry, 3,500 clean land. As an aside, can somebody please tell me why buying 8,500 of standing forestry, how that will contribute to lowering our CO2 emissions by one cubic metre of CO2? How is taxpayers' money, state aid, going to support this kind of investment. I, I can't understand it at all. But of course this evening, an article in The Examiner quotes you, Minister McConnell as saying, Gresham House has absolutely nothing to do with the purchase or management of land. That will all be done by culture. Direct quote. Yet, Mark Carlin, a managing director of culture, told the committee before Christmas, a direct quote, he said, the fund owns the land and therefore it draws the grant. So what's happening here? Did culture go on a solo run behind the backs of our ministers? All they spoke about was 100,000 hectares, two investment funds. No wonder the Tanishta called for review. No wonder every single farming organisation, every rural TD, were shocked that a Green and a Fianna Fáil minister could oversee this debacle. No wonder we now read the, uh, that culture are going to engage with farmers. It's late, but I'm glad to see it. Still talk is cheap and deflection is sometimes the name of the game. Let's see what plans culture have to engage with farmers. Let's see the detail, the specifics, the funds in place when they address the Agri Committee tomorrow. Let's see if they still talk about 100,000 hectares and two investment funds.